Hello, everybody. My name is Adam Gordon, an entertainer here at IT Pro TV, back with another episode in our ongoing conversation around tips for using Microsoft Teams. We're going to take a look at an interesting function Microsoft makes available on the platform, how to share your screen when you're presenting in a meeting. Now, you may see that, hear that, and see people doing that and wonder, is it really all that complicated? The answer is no, it's very simple. But what people tend to get a little scared about with sharing content while presenting is all the options that are made available for you and knowing exactly which content you're sharing can be challenging. We're gonna clear up all those misconceptions by joining a meeting in progress and seeing just how easy it is. We'll say hi to Megan. She's volunteered to help us out with this episode. Hey, Megan. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna share my screen initially so Megan Megan can see, as a typical participant in a meeting would, what the share looks like. And after we take a look and explore a little bit, we'll flip it around and we'll invite Megan to share her screen so you guys can see what you would see as a participant if someone else was presenting and sharing their screen. I'm going to go over here to our toolbar right up at the top on the right-hand side here between the microphone icon and the leave icon. You'll see it's a little box that has an arrow pointing up. That's the icon for sharing content. Notice the keyboard shortcut, Control, Shift, and E as an eagle. And we can use those keyboard shortcuts or we can simply click on this icon. Now, when we do that, we're gonna get a pop-up window that takes up about half the screen. And what we're gonna do is be presented with a series of selection categories. Desktop on the left under the column header, window right beside it, moving left to right, PowerPoint, may or may not see that depending on whether you've opened PowerPoints and used them on the machine before. And then some other options off to the right there, whiteboard and some other things that may be of interest to you. Where most people are challenged is understanding exactly which one of the many options they have that they wanna choose in order to present. Now, if I choose desktop, which I'm gonna do in a minute, you're gonna see everything on my desktop. Whatever's open, whatever may be there, if I have something up, et cetera, that's what you're gonna see minimized, and then only the things that are actually on the background on my desktop will show up. If I choose window, and notice there are many different windows here, if I choose window, I'm gonna see simply one application element, whether it's a single web page, all those elements are web pages, whether it is an application down below, as you can see, the calendar in Teams, web browsers, a notepad element that I have opened up right down here, for instance, that kind of stuff, uh, a folder in the Windows Explorer area. I could choose any one item, and only that item will be selected, nothing else. So under window, we really are just seeing one single element. And if we want to only share that one element, that's what we present. If we're doing PowerPoint, we would choose whatever PowerPoint slide deck and present with that. I tend to want to use desktop when I share and present because I usually flip back and forth between a variety of things. And so I find it just easier for me to have access to everything. But that's really a personal choice, and we'll leave that up to you. The other thing I wanted to point out is that I can include computer sound with my share, allowing participants to hear as well as see what's going on on my machine. If I'm playing a video or something like that on my desktop, I want to be able to provide that. That would make it available. So just be aware of that. We're going to select screen number one. Notice it puts a red box around the edge of my screen. You can see it right there. Propagates out that desktop share almost immediately. The window with Megan goes away, is transported to the lower right of our screen. She's still there. She's active. We could see her. She could hear what's going on with us. But I am now presenting my desktop out to Megan. Now, Megan only sees my desktop. She doesn't see the window with herself in there. That's really just for me as the presenter to keep an eye on what's going on in the meeting and have access to my controls, which means the participants are seeing a nice, clear, unobstructed view of the entire screen, in this case, my desktop and everything associated with it. We'll see that from Megan's perspective in a minute when we have her share and see what that looks like. Now, I can go about my business, open a document, uh, interact with Megan around an application. Maybe we're going to collaborate around or whatever we wanted to do that involved the desktop share. And once we're done with all that, I can simply come back over here to my meeting controls and right at the bottom, right down there, uh, right between the microphone icon and the leave icon, exactly where it was before, that arrow that was in that box is now changed to an X. It's a little hard to see, but I'm hovering over it and it says stop sharing. And that allows me to go in and to get rid of the desktop share. I'm gonna do that. Megan becomes front and center again. So she becomes a back as the center of focus in my desktop for my part of the meeting. The share is stopped and we're ready to go. So let's invite Megan to go ahead and share and see what she's going to present to us, but also see what it looks like when she shares. So Megan, do you have something for us?
Okay. All right, and so we can see Megan's going to go in, and we're seeing right now the window on her screen that shows up. We can see that she is sharing what looks like our website, the IT Pro TV website, and we're seeing what that looks like right there. Now, you'll notice that we still see that box at the bottom because that's Megan's view of what the meeting looks like so that she can see and interact with those controls, but we're seeing that full actual desktop with her web browser and everything, uh, and we're not obstructed by or bothered by that, right? So we don't have to worry about that. All right, so when Megan is done, assuming she's done whatever we needed her to do and she's finished, she's shaking her head even though you can't see it, so she's done. She's gonna go ahead and kill that share just the way I did. We'll pop back in and we'll see in just a second, it just takes a second to show back up, that she's seeing, or you're seeing now, my side of the presentation, my side of the meeting on Megan's machine. That's what the view is on the screen right now. Kind of interesting when I do this and there's a small delay, and there I am. All right, so we'll cut away from Megan's machine, come back to my machine just so we could see Megan on screen, and you could see just how easy it is to go ahead and actually share the content that you want to present during a meeting. Nothing more than that, really straightforward. I'll be back with new and continuing conversations about how to use all the great features in Microsoft Teams as we continue to explore different tips that make you more productive using the Microsoft Teams platform. Until then, I wish you happy teaming, and I'll see you soon.